usually we are given the velocity field, we are given the equations, so this is something we have. But this is not actually what we need. It will turn out that what we need is to find out what has happened to neighborhood some finite you know, possibly very long time after. And having just this doesn't tell us that, this just tells us what happens at an instant in time. So the thing we really care about is finite time. And that will look, you know, formula looks, the formula looks like the same, but I will actually look at the map. I'll look at xt is a time forward mapping of uh, of my initial point x0. So it's a, you know, a segment of the spaghetti, or a trajectory from zero to t. And here I would like to know what happens at finite time. So now what I do is I look at something that almost looks the same, but it has very different meaning. And the two things are related to each other as integral and integrand, or as, you know, a function and a logarithm of the function. I mean, they're quite different. So now I look at, I write x at finite time. I write it as a finite map of this point, x0 plus the initial displacement to find what the final displacement is. And all these things are d-dimensional vectors, this, this function as well. I again do Taylor expansion. Time forward map. Starting on this point. <clears throat> so you know I I ith component of the vector, ith component of vector. <clears throat> this exchange with respect to J's component of the vector times the initial displacement zero, j component summed over j equals one to d of all dimensions. And now it's this object that in linear approximation tells us how this is going to deform. And you know, in linear approximation, deformations cannot be too wild. So basically, you'll see if I start with a sphere, this will give me a ellipsoid, you know, turned around some distance. But that will be very good for us. So the Jacobian matrix of the flow, of the linearized flow, well, okay, of the flow. Will denote a J, and you know this depends where I am. This is instantaneous in state space. This depends on where I started and how long I go. And I'm using this notation of putting T upstairs 
as you'll see, there is some kind of exponentiation going on. So t, it looks like it's exponentiating something. But if you don't like it, you can also write this as Jacobian that depends on the initial point and the time that has passed. Or you can write it as Jacobian of uh, the initial point. So, so varying those guys, zero d, and what happens time t later along the trajectory. Or, you know, whatever notation makes you happy. Now, because in our work, we will all the time use these guys. You know, I'll just give them this particular name. I find it more compact. Yeah, in applied math, you also find notation D of F, anyway, meaning uh, derivatives of uh, etc. And then, you know, depending, if you're taking course in differential equations or, in a, you know, maybe this will call fundamental matrix. So that's Jacobian matrix, and that's stability matrix.